All right, what's up guys, EastGameYC here, and welcome back to another video where today we will be reviewing the Meepo Mini 5 and V5 ER. We got two different models with two different battery sizes. We're gonna get to the unboxing right now. All right, and the reveal. Let's see what we got. Look at that, oh my goodness. We got the nice foam padding. This one's a little hard to take out from here. There you go. So this is the standard model. And as you can see here, we got ourselves 1.5 amp charger, size of my hand. Got yourself a T-tool and you got a charger for your remote. Here is your remote. This is the M5 remote. Got no screen on it for this model. I have heard a lot of people are disappointed, but it is an entry level board. But looking at the board itself, it is different this year for the first time. Miku has taken the ESC and the battery and combined it together where you have this unibody design where it's not really technically unibody you can still take off the screws one compartment will come out and you can remove the battery separate as well the wheels it will be using are 90 millimeter wheels front and rear the front wheels have a 78 durometer meanwhile the rear wheels right here have a, I believe, a 83 millimeter. So some might ask why it's different. Maple probably use the harder durometer, so these urethane sleeves last longer because generally the softer the urethane, the less life they have. But looking at the board, it is very clean, very polished. It's very nice and simplistic. Got your power button right here. Press it on, you could simply turn on the board and you could check the battery life. The battery this model will be using is a 144 watt hour battery. This is the standard model. The ESC is your still your standard LIFOC and the hub motors I believe are 500 watt hours each. If you look at the rims here, look at that design. They've changed it a lot and then you can see the motor inside, it's pretty cool. And also if you look back here, the ESC has heat sinks behind. I don't know if it helps a lot, but you know, air is air, so it's still gonna cool down, still have those heat sinks. Still has that push to start, so if I spin this motor, it will turn on. And they've also added small Meepo logo for the top and bottom. And you got the nice orange arrow for the beginners as well. One thing I also like is that now you can see the screw. So if you ever have to remove the battery or the ESC, you could simply do that. And you don't have to take off and peel off the grip tape just to remove those. The bushing it will be using is 92.8 front and rear. The original Mini had 100 in the rear, which added that stability. But this year, Meepo is going more for that car V type commuter style feel. But that's the Mini. Now we're going to get to the V5 ER version. All right, next up, we got the Meepo V5 ER. And now we're going to get to the unboxing of this. I love how simple the box is. Nice cardboard box with the Meepo logo. Even has the carry handle. I recommend you don't throw these boxes out unless you just don't need it at all. If you need it to travel, these boxes are perfect. Got the website as well. All right. And for the review, look at that. That looks really nice. If you saw this Meepo board about three years ago, you wouldn't even think it was a Meepo. If I covered this right now, you would not expect it to be a Meepo board. I could assure you that. But let's just uh, see what's up. Let's take this out. Now, since this is the ER model, you are getting a bigger charging brick. This is a three amp charger because this battery, I believe, is 200. Oh, wow. So I was wrong. The battery, the ER model is a, it's a 288 watt hour. And I thought it was 215. So it's a 288 watt hour battery. And this year with the V5, you got the special Meepo handle that was implemented a while ago. They brought it back again. I'm excited for this handle. Never had a electric skateboard with a handle. Still have the nice grip tape. Minimal concave this year. The V4 had a drop down. This year it just has the nice concave. It is perfect honestly. It is really perfect. The deck is wider now as well which is great for me because I am a size 12 and also if you look here got front and rear bumper guards. Isn't that great? So you don't have to worry about your deck getting damaged. Literally put it down like that. Still got the screws showing up as well. You can remove these compartments. Don't have to peel the grip tape off. And a nice little minimal design. Simplistic Meepo logo with the arrow. But if you look at this right here, we got the same ESC again. It's the same ESC as the Mini. Got the simple power button. Still push to start. 
Reverse Kingpin, Reverse Kingpin with 92A, 92A front and rear. The Meepo V4 had 100A last year. This year, like I said again, they are using 92A in the rear for a more carby style. The motors are the same, 500 watt motors, same durometer for the urethane, same 90 millimeter wheels, same everything. You will get a longer deck out of this model and you will have a nice flex to it. It's a really nice flex. Got yourself a T-tool, got yourself the same remote. I feel like for the ER, they should have at least done a screen on the remote just for the er model that would have been nice but you still have the same remote as the mini the m5 remote and also like i said with the charging port very simple very simplistic and very minimal easily take off the battery here and the esc there is no problem at all and you also got your heat sinks for this esc as well all right now that we're done we're gonna take both of these boards out for a ride just to get a feel of both of them and we will do a range test on both of these boards just so you guys can see the difference between the standard and the er batteries all right we're about to get on these boards right now get ourselves the first impressions right now it is on mode four i'm gonna keep it that way and let's see what we got here all right so that's mode four acceleration let me try to hit the brakes right now yeah brakes are really good it is around 46 Fahrenheit. The wind right now, it's crazy. I think it's like a good 15 miles per hour wind. We got a speed bump. Handled it perfectly, no problem at all. But I mean, the feeling is nice, man. It is very carby. The V4 was very stiff. It was really meant as a sporty board. You would go really fast and it was just very stiff. You couldn't really turn as well. But this V5, it is just so nice. You can literally make turns very easily on this have no problem at all here you hold the you hold the gimbal Woo! look at that all right i'm gonna get on the mini got the nice kick tail though look at that all right i'm gonna attempt to hit a top speed test let's go Ooh, that gravel back there. The road does get smoother. The bushings are still a little loose. Usually I don't go crazy top speed on a mini board. It's just kind of insane to do that. But it feels like I'm going over 20 right now. Try the brakes again. We're gonna do a little drag race just so you guys can see the difference. On go, okay? Three, two, one, go. It's about the same. I think since I have the ER battery, I might go a little faster. Oh, wow. Oh wow, wait, what? Maybe it's because of my weight, wait, what? Oh, he speed wobbled. His bushings are still loose, but I think I'm topped out right now. All right, so he said, every time he goes above 20, that rear bushing, it's like, no matter how you tighten it, it still feels a little loose on the back. Like you feel like you're gonna speed wobble, but you're not it's a very weird feeling but i mean you're not really meant to go crazy fast on a mini board so i don't know on, on that maybe the bushing is different but i felt stable on the v5 had no problem at all all right guys final thoughts on this board aesthetic wise i think meepo has done a great job this year just how it looks nice and simple and plain totally looks like a simple city commuter board that you would definitely take to the city one of the things i love about this board is the deck of how flexible it is but not too flexible and also that handle that meepo handle i would never expect to use a handle so much when you have to go up the stairs or just pick it up a couple of seconds it's really convenient i'm not gonna lie is this board really an upgrade from the v4 
mm, I wouldn't say that much. So if you have the V4, I wouldn't recommend you to upgrade it unless you really just want a newer board. Then yeah, go for it. It does have a smoother acceleration and braking, I'll tell you that much. But at the same time, it's more mellowed out now. It doesn't feel as jerky and as strong as it used to be with the V4. But I see where Meepo is going with their nice city commuter type electric skateboard. And lastly, the speed wobble issue. It looks like I'm speed wobbling, but at the same time, it doesn't look like I'm speed wobbling. It's very weird. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm sure if you just switched out the bushings, you would be fine. It's like $10. You could get Venom bushings. Personally, I am a longboard guy and I really prefer the V5. I think they've done a lot of great changes on that. The Mini 5, I don't see a lot of changes except the unibody design. However, like I said in the beginning, they have made it look nicer in general. That is it for the video, guys. I will be giving away a set of 90 millimeter wheels by Meepo. If you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and follow my Instagram. I'm trying to reach a thousand followers there. Also, if you're going to East KCon, leave it in the comments below. Whoever is going to East KCon, have a safe trip, guys. And for the viewers watching, I will see you guys in the next one.